The Quark mod. How can you download and install it in Minecraft 1.19.2? Well, that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. But what exactly is this mod? Well, it's kind of just a combination of a bunch of different things added to Minecraft. Everything from a feeding trough that allows for like automatic animal breeding down to tortoises, new mobs added into Minecraft, to pickerangs, which is a pickaxe that can be like thrown like a boomerang. I don't know why you'd want that, but it's in there. And azalea wood replacing like oak wood in azalea trees with like a different texture. Like it, it is absolutely insane all the stuff that this adds. And as you can see, many, many more here. You can actually check out the official website to uh, to see going to give you a warning here, but that's okay. But you can check out the official website to actually see all of the different features that this has from automation to building different client sort of management features like auto walk and camera modes and all sorts of stuff to even the tools and the different mobs that it adds in. It's so much it's hard to keep track of it and honestly go through it all here in this video. But let's go ahead and get it installed because that isn't too much of the video. So first things first, you want to go to the second link in the description down below. That's going to take you here. This is the official Quark download page. And once you're here, come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down to the Minecraft 119 section. Under that, you'll have this Quark version. Make sure you're downloading the green R version. That just means it's updated, it's released, it's stable, all of that stuff. So you want to click on the orange download button at the right of that. And the download will begin after a few seconds. However, while we're waiting on this download, how about to our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown, tedxyz slash Apex, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We actually love just Apex so much, we host all of our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft Hosting. So if you want to start your own server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting. That's the first link down below, the breakdown, tedxyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, Quark is downloaded. You may need to keep this file in the bottom left Google Chrome or save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. It really does just depend on what browser you're using. Now, let's go ahead, though, and download Auto Reg Lib because this is the library mod that is required in order to run Quark. Basically, Quark requires auto -reg lib to even work. To download this, you guys didn't links in the description down below, and once you're here, you want to come to the right-hand side and scroll down to the 119 section. Just like with Quark, you want to make sure you're downloading the R release version, and click the orange download button under 1.19. The download will then begin after a few seconds where, uh, you guessed it again, we'll need to keep or save this file depending on your browser. Now, there's one more thing we need to download. That is Forge. Forge is the mod loader that actually allows Quark to work with Minecraft. You can find a link to Forge in the description down below and once you're here this is our in-depth guide on getting forge it goes over everything in a text format or if you have any issues installing forge that's what this tutorial is here for now let's go ahead and click the green download forge button to be taken to forge's official website once we're there we want to make sure that the minecraft 1.19.2 version is selected as you can see mc 1.19.2 there if it's not come over to the left hand side and select it under the 119 section nevertheless once you're here you want to come under download latest and click on the installer button that will then take us off to add focus where stop don't click anything on this page whatsoever just wait about 10 seconds put your hands in the edge sit back listen to me talking here wait about 10 seconds Seconds. And then after about 10 seconds, a red skip button will appear up here in the top right. The only thing that you want to click on this page is that red skip button in the top right. And when you do in the bottom left, Forge 1.19.2 will have downloaded. Now you may need to keep this file in the bottom left or save it on Mozilla Firefox, but Forge is 100% safe as long as Forge is in the title. Or I should say, you're 100% safe to keep Forge as long as it says Forge in the title, like ours does. Now, plus, we can go ahead and minimize our browser here, and we want to move these to our desktop. To do that, go ahead and click the little Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Or, if you're on Windows 11, it's in the bottom center of your screen. And, yes, this tutorial is fully working on Windows 11. Now, plus, let's go ahead and open up that little Windows menu. Click on, or type in downloads. Excuse me. Type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder. And in here, you will have... Forge, Auto Reg Lib, and Quark. You want to drag and drop all of these to your desktop just for ease of use. Now to get started, we're going to work with Forge. To do that, go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here, or I do have Java and my icons are broken. Well, in both of those scenarios, you need to download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods, servers, and guess what? Quark's a Minecraft mod, so we need Java 17. You can go through here, download it, in-depth guide, it covers everything. You may also need to run the jar fix, which is also linked in the description down below. And this takes all the jar files from your computer and links them back to Java, making them work happily together. But only run the jar fix after you get Java. Step one, get Java, and then run the jar fix. Now let's just go ahead now, right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK to open up the mod system install for Forge. All you need to do in here is click Install Client and click OK. It's that easy. It's now going to download. It's going to install. It's going to do everything you need to do to get Forge up and running in Minecraft. It's 
kind of just waiting for it. Now, the only reason this would fail at this point is if you have Minecraft open, you have the Minecraft launcher open, or if you've never played Minecraft 1.19.2 before. If you've got Minecraft with the launcher open, close out of them. If you haven't played Minecraft 1.19.2 before, go play it, just open it to the main menu, close out of it, and come back and reinstall, and it will work. And if I was to go and click OK here, and it will close out of the mod system install for Forge, we can now delete Forge from our desktop. Let's go ahead and install Quark. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher, and then in the Minecraft launcher here, we want to go ahead and select our Forge profile. Now, if you have a Forge profile already, awesome, you're good to go. But if you don't have a Forge profile, I'm going to show you how to fix that. But I should have a Forge profile. As this loads here, we'll be able to see it. There we go. And if we click this little arrow down here in the bottom left, we'll see there is Forge. If you select this arrow, you should see Forge here as well. And it should say 1.19.2-Forge under it. If that's the case, click play, click play again. But if you don't have Forge here, click on installations at the top. Then make sure modded is checked. As you can see, if we uncheck modded, it disappears. Check modded, there is Forge. Click play, click play again. But if you still don't have Forge or the 1.19.2 version of Forge here, click new installation. You can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it Quark because that's the mod we're installing. So Quark mod, boom. And then the most important part of this entire new installation process is clicking this version drop down box. Then selecting release 1.19.2 Forge. So 1.19.2 Forge here, select that. Then you can change the resolution. I'm just doing that so we can see once we get in game. And then finally click create in the bottom right. Now we have this new Quark mod profile that has 1.19.2 dash forge under it. Hover over this, click play, click play again, and now Minecraft is going to open up with forge installed and that's the hard part. The hardest part of getting Quark or any Minecraft mod is actually installing Forge. Once you've got Forge, you're going to be blown away by how easy it is to get the mod installed, in this case, Quark. So we'll go ahead, let this load up, and I will meet you on the Minecraft main menu. So here we are in Minecraft to install Quark at this point. Just click on Mods, and then click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Again, that was from the main menu. Click the Mods button, and then click Open Mods folder in the bottom left. That will open the Mods folder right like so, and all we need to do is drag and drop Quark and Auto Ridge Live into our mod folder. Now if we go back to Minecraft, these aren't here. We need to click done, quit Minecraft, and then reopen up Minecraft with Forge. You need to reopen it with your Forge installation, otherwise you won't have Quark. The only way to play Quark, or any Minecraft mod for that matter, is to open Minecraft with Forge with the mod in the mods folder, like we just did. So, once this is opened, it's super simple. You just click on mods and then, or sorry, excuse me, you just make sure your Forge profile is selected, which is either going to be this one or the one you created. Doesn't matter which. Click play, click play again, and now I'll meet you on the main menu and show you that Quark is installed as well as a few of the features that it has. So here we are loading into the main menu. We can click mods, we can click Auto Reg Lib and Quark. That's showing that both of those are installed. Now, one thing I do want to mention is if uh, you click this Q here, you'll be able to see all the Quark configuration. One of the cool things about Quark is that it is a basically modular sort of tool, so you can unclick what you don't want. If you don't want the tools, for example, you can uncheck that. Mod automation, tweaks. If you don't want the world features, you can turn on or off whatever you want easily. Oddities, by the way, is a separate mod. You can download that and add it to your mods folder right alongside Quark, and that will be able to be enabled. There's also general settings. You can change the different things here and, and basically what all this stuff is. You can read through, but you can really customize Quark, which is one of the cool things about it. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump into single player. We're obviously going to create a new world for this because, uh, well, I don't want this to go into my other worlds because once you install mods in a world, sometimes it can cause issues if you uninstall them. So Quark, we're going to go ahead and change that to creative, create this world. Yep, we're okay with that. We'll see you in game to show you some of the features. I specifically like the mobs that Quark adds in, but um, there's also some other cool things. Maybe we'll check out that boomerang pickaxe as well. So here we are in game. We go ahead and hit escape. There's actually that Q menu right here as well. So you can actually turn these on and off in game, which is pretty cool. But let's go ahead and like I said, I like the mobs. One of the mobs that Quark adds in is going to be the tortoise. So if we go in here, we should have a tortoise spawn egg, as you can see right there it is. I believe it also adds in a fox, like a fire fox hound maybe. This is what we're, uh, we're looking for here. Yep, there we go. Boom. Look at that. And a tortoise. <laughs> Absolutely insane how large <laughs> these are. Insanity. So those are two really cool ones. There's also the pickaxe, which uh, if we do the boomerang pickaxe, there it is. And I believe this will work in creative. Boom. There you go. Look at that. How cool is that? Boom, boom, boom. And I believe if we go into survival, we will actually be able to pick up the uh, the blocks that that breaks. Yep, so it just brings them back to us. And uh, this does, I believe, work on stone. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What do you, I don't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to do that. It just, it had to happen. So there you go. Quark is installed. There's, there's so much stuff. It's hard for me to go through all of it, like I said, but it is here. And um, yeah, I, that might even be Quark. I've, I've never seen a chicken that color, honestly. So yeah, that, that might be Quark in itself. Is that... I think we've got a new tree over there. Let's go ahead and check that out real fast. So I did double check here, and uh, that seems to be a new tree. If we go ahead and 
Pick block that. Boom. We've got Sunny Blossom Leaves and we've got Sunny Blossom Log. So pretty cool stuff. So much stuff that Quark adds in. Um, I, I don't even know half of it, really. But luckily they do outline all of it on their website if you uh, do want to go check that out to be able to see exactly what everything is. By the way, I, I really do like this pickaxe. <laughs> like this boomerang pickaxe is really cool to me. It's got tons of like, look how far out that goes. Insanity! Insanity. But nevertheless, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Enjoy the Quark mod and we'll see you in the next one. Peace!